Okay, just a quick note on the steel cable. Um, they come uh, wrapped. So first thing I do is try to uh, lay them out. Get them, you're gonna have to have a long run, but you can see here I'm stringing them out the observatory door. Uh, but this way it's easier to feed. They don't get tangled on each other. So if you get them set up properly to begin with, you'll have an easier time uh, feeding them through uh, all the junctures in the pulley system. All right, for doing any work on the pulley system uh, or the shutter system, back in here, we got to remove the cover. There's three screws on the top and three on the bottom. I always mark which way's up. Uh, I don't know if the holes are symmetrical. They might not be, so it just makes it easier when uh, we put things back. Also, after recabling, this needs to go on before you test. Uh, it keeps this together. There's the gears in here are pressed into the, uh, the plastic top and bottom, but you don't want to run the risk of this spreading and then those pop out. That happens, you're redoing everything. Right, this is the procedure for recabling uh, Technical Innovations Dome. This that we're working on is a PD-15, but these instructions will also apply to either 15-foot style, either 10-foot style, or either 6-foot uh, style. Uh, we're looking right now at the pulley system. You can see here it's split up into two sections. There's a top section and then there's a bottom section. The bottom section goes to the left. The top section will go over here to the right uh, from a cabling perspective. Um, on the 15-foot dome, the pulley system has an upper and lower. The lower cable will feed through this lower pulley here. There's a dual pulley system. And then it's going to come over to here on the outside at the bottom, wrap all the way up, feed out the back, and then go into the top, and then finally connect into the uh, SCCA over there. The left side will be somewhat reversed. So it's gonna come out the lower, the lower there, but it's gonna come behind, back up into here, wrap around, and then come out here, over to the top pulley there, follow the top over to the SCCA. On this, you'll have seven wraps. There are enough grooves here that this top groove will stay empty and this bottom one will stay empty. So when I start here, I'm not going to start on this. I want to start right there and wrap around. All right, when you string cable, you're going to string one side and then the other. Uh, probably doesn't matter which side you do first. In this video, I'm going to do the right hand side. The way I'm going to do this is there's the SCCA. You need to position it, you know, sort of midpoint uh, between a couple of pulleys. And I've done that. I'm sort of up at the top. You could go back there, or maybe you go all the way to the front, but I keep it more back towards uh, the motor. And just for reference, as you're looking at the motor, right's over here, left's over here. So what I'm gonna do, and this may be hard to see because we're looking out of bright daylight, but I'm gonna start the cable um, and hook one end of the cable into the SCCA. 
and get it positioned and probably tightened down. Then that cable is gonna go over all these top pulleys all the way down to the idler pulley on the front. I'm gonna loop it around, go through all the bottom pulleys, and then through the L pulley, and then I'm gonna clip it. You need some way to keep some tension on the cable initially, because uh, if you don't, it'll slip off in places. So I've got little hang uh, clamps, and I'll show that in the video as well. But that will allow me to hold the cable there and then start my wrapping around uh, the uh, pulley system itself. All right, I've got the cable strung. So here we're coming in. This will go over the pulley there. We're coming out. Feeding around, we wrapped around, we're coming out the other side. I want to take this and feed it back through like that behind these clips and then that way you've got some extra but right now I want to tighten this one down and then I can feed it back uh, around the pulley system to the other side okay where we're at with things right now uh, the cable up there is attached to the SCCA uh, I've got it wrapped are going over all the top pulleys um, around the idler pulley at the very beginning uh, or at the very end of the slot edge uh, coming back through the bottom pulley on all the pulleys all the way back here to the L bracket I put a clip this one of my hand clamps uh, just to keep the cable because you want this to stay it doesn't have to be tight but you don't want it to come off like the idler pulley at the front because uh, that can really then you're redoing things and then back here i've got it started initially uh, in other words i've got it again we're going to come around here we're going to start at this second groove up go wrapping around so back here I'll be on the second groove and then I'm going to wrap around at this point you can't keep it tight in the grooves it's almost impossible I get it started and then wrap it around seven times and then I will come back and move these around into the grooves and get them tight after um, after everything's wrapped. Just make sure you're not, um, you're starting on the top side of this here, and then we're gonna go all the way. And like I said, when we get to the top, after seven wraps, we're coming out. Then we're gonna come through here, and then I'll remove this clamp and clamp it on that side. Okay, I am around the pulley seven times. Uh, it does not look pretty, and it's not meant to at this point. We will guide it around each groove. So basically, I want to start with this, put it in the groove I want to, and keep following that wire around. As I do that, this top is going to have slack. The top I've put through the top pulley over there, and then uh, the top of the L pulley, and then the top of the pulley here. And as you can notice, it's hanging pretty straight because I've clipped to the end of this uh, a vice grip. And the only reason being that's given me weight. So as more slack comes, this should drop down and keep tension. I just want tension as I put things in the groups. It's not going to be the final tension, but it's good enough right now that we uh, will get it wound around the pulley system. Okay, we've now made it look nice. Um, again, we just kept winding around and then this picked up the slack. And now you can see we've got everything in its groove. We're starting the uh, second one up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wraps. I'm coming out here, 
I'm still going over to here. And then I'm um, got the weight uh, keeping that taut. The way to work this out, once you get it wrapped later on, um, you need to go this way. So I tend to work at the bottom with both hands and just move like this. And as I'm doing that, you'll get more slack here and more tension here. But we need to do that once we've hooked uh, this last cable over there to the SCCA. And before I do that, I wanna put a clip right in here because uh, I'll need to remove my weight. And so that'll hold this in place so that that does not unwind. All right, on finishing out the cables, so this cable here, right there, has come through, we're wrapped around, and it's out the other side. I take and loop all the way through so that it comes out here. And then I'm gonna cut it probably about right in there. That way, in the future, if you ever need to tighten these, you pull it out and you gotta like the grab too. Trying to grab onto something that's real short, doesn't always work, but this gives you a little bit longer piece um, to grab onto. And because it's wrapped behind, it keeps it out of the way of all of these. Okay, uh, the right side is all uh, strung and uh, tightened. And so now we're doing the left. Uh, like before, I started at uh, the SCCA, got the cable, uh, ran it through all the top pulleys, all the way down to the idler pulley down there, then through the bottom pulley in this double pulley system, all the way up, come around, and then through the lower of this L pulley here. On this one, and there's my clip, we're coming straight out, but we're coming behind this bar right here. I've got an extra clip here just to keep the cable above it. We're gonna start, I'll take off my glove here so we can see. We'll start with the second one from the center and go down, just like in the other one. I wrapped around seven times. Uh, we'll get it nice and tight here in a minute. Seven times, we're coming out. And you can sort of see, there it is. We're coming through the top pulley. There's, on this side, there's always a crisscross. And so we're coming through the top pulley. I've got through the top pulley there, top pulley, and there's my weight to give me tension. Okay, we're back. Um, everything's in its little tracks. Let's see, we're coming out right at the bottom. Coming over here, second one from the center. Coming down all the way around, seven weaves. Followed across, there's our crisscross. And we've still got tension. Uh, so here in a second, I wanna string this up. Also, after recabling, this needs to go on before you test. Uh, it keeps this together. There's the gears in here are pressed into the, uh, the plastic top and bottom, but you don't want to run the risk of this spreading and then those pop out. If that happens, you're redoing everything. So I'll let it get to fully open so you can see. I think we talked about that earlier in the video where you can expect that your uh, sun's causing a little bit of a problem, but we'll see. So there, the, uh, where the cables attach, as soon as it goes past that last pulley, you can turn it off right there. Again, you don't want that cable attachment to hit the back of the rear shutter. But right now, you've got a huge opening for your uh, telescope, you have no problem seeing all the way up to Zenith. 